Spotify. Get it, Xerxes. Get it, Xerxes. Get it, Xerxes. Come on, man. Yeah, get it, Xerxes. Get it, Xerxes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a Manchester United fan right there. He's excited. Man United just picked up three points, you know, at Old Trafford in the season opener. I'm happy. You should be happy as well. Um, the things that I'm happy about, I'll just share them quickly. The first thing is our defensive structure. It's structuring. It is really looking good. We are pressing well as a team. We are also, also, also reducing the number of shots that we concede. Last season, when we played Fulham, we conceded way, way too many shots. And this time around, it was only two shots on target for Fulham. Think about that for a second. That means that the coaches and the players have been diligently working on our defensive shape. And that is really, really encouraging signs right there. So I want to, first of all, big up the team and say we are doing well good steps of course i would have wanted more more goals of course i would have wanted um a much more dazzling performance but that doesn't come overnight so i want to first of all shout out um casemiro for being very 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 important in how we were playing for being really 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 good in our defensive structure like he is the pillar everything um, that Fulham was trying to do, he was making sure that, like, he, he, he made sure that he just calmed the danger down. So, shout out to Casemiro for that. The next person that I want to say a big, big, big shout out to is Amadiallo. Amadiallo was fantastic, you know. Um, of course, I want him to be more, more explosive and more decisive, but at the end of the day, he was good. Some of his passes, the final pass was just not quite there today, but it's the first, first, um, game of the season so i really 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 think Amad diallo will keep on becoming better you know um big shout out to ganacho for providing the assist ganacho his performance is just just really really good and i want to say you know i'm expecting a lot more from ganacho ten Hag has a really big problem in his hands now you know moving forward because at the end of the day, we know Rashford has to be benched eventually. And maybe you might have to put Ganacho on the left and make sure that Ahmad starts on the right. But that's tough for Ten Hag to worry about. On this game, a big shout out also has to go to Mazrawi. Mazrawi was so good. I did not see Iwobi at all. I did not see him at all in this game. You know, um, there was a lot of um, really good performances right there from from um, um, Mazrawi. A really good, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, like moments where they were pressing him, and you know they just couldn't steal the ball from him. You know, so Mazrawi looks good. Mazrawi looks like he is a Maserati. You know. Um, Another special shout out really has to go to Joshua Zexi to get that goal on your debut performance for Man United at home. It's got to be extra, extraordinarily special. So I want to give him a big shout out for that and say more Xerxes, get it Xerxes, get it Xerxes. You know what I'm saying? So big, big, big round of applause to the whole team at the end of the day for getting us um, the three points that we needed because all eyes were on Man United. The Ops were hoping that we start off the season with a big embarrassment. But guess what? We didn't embarrass ourselves. We got there. We got the job done. And that's the most important thing, right? Getting the three points and moving on to the next one. So um, the last person I also got a shout out is Eric Ten Hag. He made the right, right subs at the right time. You know, I was a little bit concerned when he took out... Um, uh, when he brought in Delict and um, Johnny Evans with 10 minutes to go, wet nil nil, and Eric Ten Hag thinks it's okay, it's the right thing to do that. And you know what? At the end of the day, he's the manager, he's the guy that actually is controlling things, and uh, rightfully so. Those substitutions, you know, they didn't hurt the game. And um, the other substitutions, like bringing Ganacho on, Xerxes on, and Scott McTominay on also was actually a good idea in the um, in the long run. So big, big, big round of applause for Eric Ten Hag. It seems like 
there is a lot of improvement. We didn't concede um, a cutback goal, so that's special. We didn't um, concede, um, you know, we didn't look too vulnerable at all in the set pieces. Matter of fact, our set pieces look so dangerous. So big, big, big shout out. Shout out to Eric Ten Hag for that. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, we got the three points. And also, 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 I have to say, um, um, I really hope Harry Maguire is okay because he came out um, looking like he was injured. And uh, we gotta find this hyena. We gotta find whatever it is that's that's um, right there. That is um, cur whoever cursed us. Please undo the curse, cause if at all we hear that Harry Maguire is also injured, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so angry, cause at the end of the day, we need all the soldiers we can have. You know, Harry Maguire. Joining Lenny Euro on the defense on the injury injured list is just gonna break my heart even more. We really need to get get come to grips with what's going on um, at our club with injuries. Um, Onana looked good. He had was only forced, as I said, there was only two shots on target for Fulham. So big up to Onana for being really good with the reflexes at that moment so big shout out to andre onana you deserve your flowers too and um at the end of the day uh the whole team and the fans deserve this victory so big 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 <sighs> congratulations and as i said get it xerxy get it xerxy get it xerxy come on bow 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 <laughs>